with this weather, it's kind of difficult to go ice fishing around here. And so when the temperatures go back up, you want to go outside and bike lanes are a place a lot of people want to go, but they might be a lot emptier in the city of Minneapolis. Those green nice ride bikes are not going to come back to the city. So Kaya looked into some of the other options that could go in their place. The nice ride bikes have been gone since mid November, and now that we know they won't return for spring, the docking stations will be next to go. A lift spokesperson tells us that'll happen once weather conditions allow. And lift says it was a few months back that Blue Cross Blue Shield announced it would no longer sponsor nice ride Minnesota. The ride chair company tells us, quote, we have worked tirelessly to find a new sponsor, but have not been successful. We spent some time this last winter trying to help. Sam Rockwell is executive director of advocacy organization Move Minnesota and was a nice ride rider himself. Do you have your own bike too? We have way too many bikes. One of the nice things about Nice Ride is that it allows you to be multimodal through the day. So maybe take the bus to work and then decide that you want to ride home because it's a beautiful sunny afternoon. Maybe it was raining that morning. You can go grab a Nice Ride, off you go. Without Nice Ride, there are no other bike share options in Minneapolis. So what's next? What the city of Minneapolis has told us is that they will have an RFP, a request for proposals out to have other companies bid on bringing bike share here. A Minneapolis spokesperson confirms the city has other licensees in the shared bike and scooter program interested in providing shared bikes, ensuring that the city will have bikes in the program this upcoming season. Bird and Lime and some of those scooter companies have bike share companies as well. But right now, I think we're looking at just scooters and a bike if you own one. And Lyft says it will still search for opportunities to provide its bike and scooter services again, calling the current situation a suspension. What do you think the impact will be for Minneapolis? I think the impact is going to be significant. Minneapolis is one of the top biking cities uh, across the country and Nice Ride has been a big part of making us that kind of city. Year after year, I just re-up my membership. I can grab a bike whenever I need to. I know how the system works. And so there's that familiarity that allows that ridership to grow year over year. And I think it's not just the fact that we have bike share, but the fact that we've been able to build kind of a brand and a name around nice rides. So it's going to be a journey to rebuild that. Kaya Edwards, Care 11 News. But there is a chance we get something else, so let's hope for that. Nice Ride came to Minneapolis in 2010. It went to St. Paul in 2011. But in 2019, Nice Ride announced it would not return to, it would return to Minneapolis, but it wasn't going to go back to St. Paul. So they've been without that since 19, but the city signed a contract with Lime. So it's a lot to keep up with. I'll show sure you plugged in on social on that one.